Hello, everyone, and uh, thank you for coming for me here, right? <laughs> Uh, so I'm Tom, I'm a CEO and co-founder here at Printer and I'm here to present you the future of human tissue engineering, 3D bioprinted tissue. A little bit about the past and history of the company, where we came from. So we are originally from Finland, as you can hear my funny accent is coming from. Uh, in 2018, my co-founder approached me with an idea of building a 3D bioprinter. This guy is a genius, so I invested in him and two years later, he delivered the most advanced multi-material 3D bioprinter in the world. We went to release it in Germany at the medical conference. Soon after, we realized that we ended up building something that has never been before seen. So I took over the company as a CEO and brought it to the United States where I was already before my, after my previous exit. So why we matter in healthcare? Tissue heals slowly still today. An average nine months to heal for tendons. There are inefficient repairs, costing US taxpayers over $10 billion per year. And there's an unmet need, especially in sports medicine, where over 45% of rotator cuff repairs fail. So today, I'm excited to tell you that we are now 3D bioprinting, world's first tissue implants to be commercial next year. We start with the $4 billion soft tissue market globally, focusing on the tendon repairs, which is $1.8 billion in the US, and rotator cuff in our shoulder being our first product, moving horizontally to Achilles tendon and eventually to ACL. We target $130 million obtainable market three years post commercialization with a high 83% margin. We have a competition, only a few in this new bioengineering soft tissue space. Conmed from Biobrace, Regenedin from Simpson Nephew, and Tapestry from Zimmer Biomed. From these three competitors, we aim to be a better in the tensile strength, resorption time, and tear resistance, in addition with the suture retention. These are highly unmet needs in orthopedics. Thanks to the additive manufacturing, we can now bring in the left replicability and lower the costs of these implants. So our game-changing implants are enabled thanks to our 3D bioprinters, offer custom, custom synthetic layers. These layers offer high load sharing, faster recovery, which higher suture retention is a really high unmet need. In addition with the custom biological layers, which I actually have products here that we just printed before my trip from the US, that mimic the native tissue and offers the tissue regeneration. We offer a fast surgical delivery with arthroscopic devices in less than two minutes. So how our implants work? First injury in the rotator cuff, we secure our implant over the uh, injured tendon and immediately the, uh, the implant absorption and tissue regeneration starts. And after six months, there's nothing left of our implant. It becomes your own tissue. Pretty amazing, right? This is the technology that we enable to make our implants. 3D bioprinting chamber that prints and sterilizes implant offers a composite tools, biologics tools, glue tool to putting our, uh, these uh, tissues uh, uh, together, and then sterilization. With the lift, it takes it down to a packaging chamber. This packaging chamber then puts the products immediately to sterilized envelopes and ready to be shipped for the ASC and hospitals. Uh, ASCs are the ambulatory surgical centers of our primary customers in the US. We offer 12 months shelf life with our products and taking down the prices of implants over 45% over our competitors. We have our first biomanufacturing location in North Carolina that we are piloting now how to make these products all across the country and taking down the lead time from weeks down to days now, first time. We have de-risked our R&D for the first implant. We work in a 510K class two specification space, regulatory space, picked by the top experts, our predicates. We have a low $2.25 million budget, which means that we don't need any human trials for our first product. And we aim to be commercial 25 with additional budget for 26. A little bit about the timeline. We started our implant development in 23 with materials and printability studies, bench test feasibility studies this year, QSUB meeting with FDA before the end of the year in a few weeks, then VNV animal trials next year, and sales and marketing towards the end of the 25 with additional budget. What really makes our implant in the data space better than the competitors is that optimal green area there, the optimal load sharing, load bearing. And thanks to our formulation of our implant, with the 3D bioprinting, we're able to bring in the features that are really looked after in our orthopedic surgery space. Our implant and technologies are divided into uh, three different IP sections, first being the 3D bioprinters, now implants, and then combined with the biomanufacturing, which kind of creates a patent fortress around it, so we're secured for the future of all these tissue manufacturing. 
we're not only going to be staying in our orthopedic space, as we are going to move to soft tissue uh, in plastic surgery, for example, in breast reconstruction, muscle hernia space, cartilage, for example, meniscus, nasal reconstruction, and even though science fiction today, organs will be manufactured within my lifetime, and who knows, we might be that company. The customer need, we've been confirming this all along the way, working with the top surgeons of the, of the world. These, Dr. Scott Siegman and Sharif, these are the celebrities of the space. Sales milestones, that's my space, I'm a BD guy, so we launched it to ASCs, 500, first two years, direct in-house sales rep, aiming $5 million uh, revenue, and there's a high opportunity for exits in the first two years when we start getting the revenue. Three to five years, we're expanding to hospital systems with the help of uh, independent distributors and GPOs, group purchasing organizations, and that's where the hockey still starts growing. Uh, we have a highly experienced team. As I mentioned, I have uh, over 16 years of experience of building companies, both in the Europe and in the US. I have uh, my co-founder with vast experience in science operations and medical devices our science oper uh, operations officer from BlackRock, our uh, genius behind our 3D bioprinter, Tommy Calapio, and Dr. Scott Bruder, regulatory strategy, former chief medical and science officer at Stryker, and Michael Francis, actually an inventor of our competitor that was acquired. So this is the business uh, that we're doing here, is a platform. We're aiming to make pl implants all throughout the, uh, the future, all the way to organs. So initial application, this is a $3 million revenue, could be valued to $300 million. For example, Empathy, that was uh, acquired for $275 million with less than $3 million in sales. So what are we gonna do? We will first launch the rotator cuff in 26, 28, Achilles tendon implant, and then again, ACL, and all the way to uh, other dimensions. Full company transaction by the end of this decade could easily be over a billion dollars, as you can see. For example, Wright was acquired for $5.5 billion with a portfolio of orthopedic implants. We're already talking with a lot of these strategic potentials. They're asking already for exclusivity. We're not ready for that yet as we want to be showing our what we can do ourselves. And eventually, who knows, this could be that $3 trillion company. We actually, last uh, note, we were selected to be shipping our 3D bioprinter to ISS Space Station. So it kind of valid validates that our technology works as we are promising it. So thank you for listening to me, and I hope that uh, I'll be delivering for all of you tendons in the future and tissues and who knows what. Appreciate it for your time, and I hope you have a great slot. Thank you. <laughs>